Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a get ready with me. This is going to be a talk through. This is kind of a different setup than what I'm used to, so you'll have to kind of forgive me if I have any oops in like filming and whatnot. Um, I thought I would just talk with you guys. I don't know. I really haven't done too many videos here on my beauty channel lately. If you follow my vlog channel, I daily vlog. I do all kinds of stuff over there and that's usually what consumes the majority of my time and so yeah it's just kind of difficult for me to actually get on here and film beauty videos especially because I'm not an everyday makeup wearer not that I ha like I just don't feel like you have to wear makeup uh, if you're a beauty person I guess I don't know, I wouldn't consider myself a beauty guru by any means. In general, I just kind of feel like when I do beauty videos, um, I should be wearing makeup if I'm going to be talking about makeup, you know? I don't know. I've watched some girls in the past that I just, I'm like, you're not even wearing makeup. How can you talk about it? So, yeah, that's kind of my thought on my two cents. Uh, I'm just going to, like I said, talk with you guys and show you what I'm using. This is going to be very casual. Um, like I said, I thought I'm going to go ahead and film some videos today. And why not put on a little bit of makeup in the process, right? I really have not been wearing makeup that often. I use a mixture of the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer and the e.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer. I really like these two as a combo. We went to WWE last night, and this is like not fitting in here, <laughs> um, and I wore a full face of makeup, and that was the first time I would worn a full face of makeup in a very long time, and it felt good, and it felt nice, and I felt put together, and I don't know, it just, it did feel pretty nice, so I'm going to do it again. Yesterday, I'm going to do pretty much what I did yesterday, because I really like the look. Minus the eyeshadow, I'm going to change it up a bit. But I use the CoverGirl Cover Girl Clean Matte in 550 Medium Deep. This is for oily skin, a BB cream, and then the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. It says Demi Matte Finish, but this is like super mattifying in 101 Classic Ivory. Way too light, way too dark. So, I fix that by using about half and half of each. And it works out quite well. And actually, now that we're deeper in the summer, I kind of use a little bit more medium deep than I do the classic ivory. And I just take a stippling brush. This is Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And dab it all over. Still kind of on the orange side for me, but I find that it works. I can make it work. Like I was saying, I do a lot of vlog videos it just in general on my vlog channel, whether it be daily vlogs or cooking videos. Um, I also do a lot of like clothing hauls and uh, for kids and things like that. It's definitely more family related over there. I do sometimes include beauty stuff, but uh, more often than not, I... I'm doing vlogs or cooking videos, decluttering at the house, different things like that. So if you're interested in those types of things, definitely go check them out on my channel. I will have that link down below. It's just HKD Vlogs. Nothing like a shameless plug, right? But no, really, like if you're ever wondering where I'm at and why I'm not on this channel as much, it's because typically I spend my time over there. Oh, and I totally forgot to show you guys. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer number 15 Fair. I have super pared down my collection here recently. If you've noticed the series 
of makeup declutters that have been up on my channel. I have really, really gotten rid of a ton of makeup. Like, a ton of makeup. And I have all of it there. I'm trying to find the best spot to get rid of it. I don't, I've done blog sales in the past, and they're just a lot of work. <laughs> they're a lot of work to like keep track of everything that's gone. Um, so I was thinking about doing something like Poshmark or Mercari. Mercari, is that what it's called? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below where do you guys usually find your makeup deals. Okay, I love, love, love that combo for sure. Yesterday it took me like 20 minutes to do my makeup. And I feel like today it's going to take me 105. And I don't know why because <laughs> I just can't seem to get it together. I'm going to use a little bit of Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Oh, my nail is dirty. I need to give myself a little mani. I gave myself a semi pedicure the other day, but my nails are looking horrid. They need to be cut, trimmed, cuticles need to be pushed back. I just don't ever, like hardly ever, wear nail polish on them anymore. I think that's mainly because of work. They've really cracked down on us wearing nail polish. So it's like almost not even worth it to put it on. And then go to work in a few days, you know. But I still have a week and a half off. Until my next shift, so I'm thinking maybe I need to up it up a little bit. I think yesterday I did my eyes and then the rest of my face, which is not what I typically do, but I think it's going to work. So yesterday I was wearing clover all over the lid and I just had a little bit of quartz underneath the brow bone. So I blended clover all over the lid and into the crease. I think today I'm going to use rose gold with a little bit of graphite which is like the rose gold color and the little gunmetal color. And this is the Lorac Pro Metal palette. I think this is a really great investment for me because to be honest, I hardly, I mean, wear makeup hardly at all anymore. Like I mentioned earlier, unless I'm going to film YouTube videos or something, which is sad. I don't like that because I love wearing makeup. It makes me feel good about myself and a way to express myself it's my me time I just don't put it on okay I'm taking this rose gold on a flat shader e55 from Sigma and I'm just packing that on the lid and a little bit in the crease now I'm just gonna take kind of more of a precision this is the BR dash C dash dash so8 from coastal sense it's essentially just like a precision um, crease brush and I'm going to blend out this rose gold just slightly and then I'm going to go back in with the graphite which is this color right here and um, put that in the outer corner just to give it a little bit more depth not really a ton so I'm not trying to go like super smoky or anything today One thing I don't like about this palette is that it does shed quite a bit, but it's a beautiful palette. Or not shed, there's lots of fallout. So I'm just taking a tapered blending E35 from Sigma, blending out those edges a little bit. And then on the same brush, I am going to take exactly like I did yesterday and take a little bit of quartz, which is this. Typically I will do a um, matte brow bone highlight, but eh, we'll just go with the flow and do all shimmer. And I'm just adding that underneath the brow. I haven't even done my brows yet or anything. That's why I'm kind of being sloppy because it doesn't, to me, really matter how this turns out because once you put mascara and everything, it kind of all 
Have you ever noticed that? Like you can do a beautiful eyeshadow look and you're like, this just doesn't look put together until you have eyeliner and mascara on. That happens to me all the time. All the time. Like it'll look like a sloppy mess and then all of a sudden, eyeliner and mascara. And I'm like, ooh, that came together nicely. I'll pop a little bit of this in the inner corner as well. All with the same brush. Why even mess around, right? So I've been thinking a lot about my channel and like where I want it to go. And honestly, I wish I had kind of kept everything on one channel. Like I wish I had started vlogging and doing everything on one channel. But unfortunately, because I kept this more of a beauty channel and I never introduced other things, I've had... Mm, like when I put... I notice I... How can I put this? I notice I'm just using my powder flush that's taking forever to finish up. But I notice if I put something on my beauty channel that's not really beauty related, uh, I get a little bit more, not hate, but a little less positive feedback. And mainly not as many views and things like that and vice versa. If I talk about beauty on my vlog channel, not that many people are into beauty. On my vlog channel so it's kind of hard for me to keep the two separate because I'm so used to kind of combining everything in my life into one thing that it's hard for me to keep everything separate so I apologize if things kind of end up on my beauty channel that weren't originally beauty related you know I'm not doing it on purpose just kind of how everything flows. I'm using the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. This is so old and I'm almost done with it. It like breaks off every time I use it but I don't use that much so it is like lasting me forever. I'm just using a big powder brush F30 from Sigma. I've had the same brushes for years and I don't plan on changing them so <laughs> you'll probably always see them. I think I'm going to use this bronzer in here in the e.l.f. Contour Blush and Bronzer. This one is in Fiji just going to take this on a blush brush from Real Techniques. This is a pretty bronzer for me. And just bronze up my face just a little bit because since I use a darker like foundation, I really don't need that much bronzing, but it's nice to kind of sculpt out the face just a little bit. So if you guys don't follow my vlog channel, then you would know, but Autumn is ten and a half months old. She is trying so hard to stand up. She's waving, she's clapping, she says a whole bunch of words, she's so smart, but she refuses to crawl, like refuses to crawl. I have a feeling she's going to walk before she crawls. Emmy and Maddie are doing very well. We're all doing pretty good. It's nice to just be able to look back on something and know that I have those memories forever. Like it's just very nice. I like, I love, I'm really, really loving daily vlogging. Even though I get like a ton of hate, I'm going to use this Milani Powder Blush American Beauty Rose. I haven't used this in a long time. I'm going to try it on an F10 blush brush. See what this looks like. Even though I get a lot of hate, like, and that's one thing that I don't enjoy about vlogging, I get more hate than I ever got just doing beauty videos. <laughs> I hardly ever got any hate. Maybe, like, the occasional, like, stop buying so much, like when I would buy my Louis Vuitton bags, which I'm not buying during tax season, it would be extra money and like I would explain myself and people would be like, oh, why don't you save for your children type thing, <laughs> crazy stuff. But now that I daily vlog, I get so much hate, so much more than I ever have before, which is sad, but it comes with the territory, I think. Because I watch daily vloggers that are like awesome, perfect parents in my eyes, and even they get hate. And I am nowhere near being a perfect parent at all. Okay, 
So that blush is, okay, what is, okay, there we go. That blush is beautiful. I love that rosy color. Now for, shh, shh, shh. let's see, I think I'm gonna do Soft and Gentle MAC Mineralized Skin Finish on an SS109. I don't know what this is. <laughs> just like any type of highlighter brush. It's so old. Uh, and just hit my high points on my cheek. It's a beautiful golden color. Typically I would use like opal or champagne pop, but this is the first one that came out. And I don't really have, I think I have like three highlighters. This one and the Becca products. <sighs> Whoa, that's a lot of glitter. Eyebrows, eyeliner, mascara, and lips. And we are done. Let's see, for eyebrows, I'm gonna use my tried and true e.l.f. eyebrow lifter and filler and fill those babies in. You may be able to hear the girls at some point because I can hear them playing. This is just a Walmart spoolie, nothing super exciting, just to kind of brush out that color because it looks very, very filled in. Kind of like my brows to look a little less filled in. God, I wish this eyebrow looked like this eyebrow. This eyebrow in my eyes is like perfection, eyebrow goals. This one, can't get it together. Okay, for liner I'm using Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil and Perversion. I'm just gonna tight line with this guy. Whew, that was intense. The only reason I tight line is because you can see that little gap in my un under like my tight line. When I put mascara, you can see that gap. It's the only reason I do it because I absolutely hate doing it because it makes my eyes water. I'm gonna use a Sephora eyelash curler in pink, curl those babies, and then for mascara, oh, I'm going to use my three tried and true, Revlon uh, Ultimate All-in-One first, and then CoverGirl the Super Sizer second, Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational third, and I'm going to put on one coat of each right back to back. And then I will come right back because my battery is beeping at me. I got a little bit of mascara right there on my nose that I'm letting dry. But that is essentially the completed look. I'm just going to do my eye, no, my lips. <laughs> I'm using a Milani Anti-Feather Lip Liner and Maybelline Touch of Spice, which is a very pretty um, mauve neutral color. I was going to use... Steal a stay all day liquid lipstick and patina, but it's downstairs, and I am trying to keep my sanity and have my me time. Andres agreed to watch the girls, so unless I absolutely have to, I'm not going downstairs. You feel me? That is just hashtag mom life right there. <laughs> I gotta have my home me time. Somebody has to be watching them or else I can't do anything. And this is similar in tone. It's just a little bit darker. And of course it's a lipstick instead of a liquid lipstick. It's just a little bit harder to overdraw my lips with a lipstick than with a liquid lipstick. But doable. Only my top lip. I don't overdraw my bottom lip. And I just overdraw on the sides. Because when I smile, it, like the sides of my mouth disappear. <laughs> so, even when I have lip color. It's like, I don't know. They're just smaller. So I always overdraw them. Always. And no one probably ever notices because I always have done it. 
Um, so yeah, that is the completed look. Pretty easy. I think it took me, with if I hadn't been talking and just pay atten paying attention, it would have taken me right around 20 minutes. I think it took me closer to 30 with talking and everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm trying to like look in the viewfinder. I know it's a little darker on this side because of the angle, but yeah. Oh, oh I forgot about the mascara. It's always a bummer when it's like right there on the nose. Because invariably it'll take off part of your foundation. But there you go. So I'm going to get about my business and film some beauty videos for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this like chit chat get ready with me. Although it was like complete ramble. It wasn't anything super important. <laughs> if you follow my daily vlogs probably found out more about my life through my daily vlogs like I said I will have that link down below if you're interested but I hope you guys enjoyed thanks for sticking with me through get ready with me and we will see you in the next one bye